Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am happy to share with you my personal ranking of the top 10 4x4 Adventure B-Class RVs built on the Mercedes 144 chassis. Many of you have asked me my thoughts on which of these RVs is best. Now the best RV for you may not be the same for myself or for someone else. Thus, this question can be approached by first determining what is important to you. Those things create your personal criteria. I will share with you my personal criteria for a B-Class Adventure RV and then rank each of the RVs on my list using those set of criteria. All the RVs in this ranking will be based on the Mercedes 144 platform. This platform has a true 4x4 system, a powerful turbo diesel engine, low range gears, and good ground clearance, making it a great platform for backcountry adventure seekers. With that said, it should also be noted that not all of these platforms have the same options such as power, heated lumbar seats, LED headlights, and bird's eye camera systems, to name a few. I personally believe that power heated lumbar seats are necessary for those long journeys away from home. I also want to have all the great Mercedes safety features as well, such as collision detection, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, parking sensors, etc. Be sure to check to ensure for all the Mercedes options that are important to you. Also, price and quality are very important, but are both somewhat subjective. Prices seem to depend on options, the dealership, and your ability to negotiate, while quality for me depends on the materials used, the attention to details, and the overall craftsmanship. I will be showing a range of prices for each of these RVs based off some internet research on advertised prices, and I will be basing my quality score off my first-hand experience as I have actually conducted detailed tours of each of these B-Class RVs. Be sure to check out those tours on my channel and please be sure to like and subscribe as a lot of hard work and research goes into each of my videos and the simple action of subscribing lets everyone know you're interested in this type of content, which then opens more doors for me to conduct more tours and reviews, ensuring more future videos. So my first criteria is layout. My preferred layout is an open feel that is comfortable, almost living room style configuration. I prefer to have any large equipment located on the exterior, such as a bike on a bike rack, as to not compromise the already limited interior space. My second criteria is bathroom. A flushable toilet is mandatory and I want to have as much room as I can get for showering. I am not a fan of clingy shower curtains, especially in small confined spaces. My third criteria is tank capacity. I want to carry as much water and propane, if so equipped, as possible. I do not mind military style showers, such as shutting off the water while soaping up. However, I do want to take regular showers, especially when off-grid hiking. My fourth criteria is kitchen. I like to cook, so I would like the conveniences of what you would find in a regular kitchen. I prefer gas, but can make do with an induction cooktop, a generous sized refrigerator would be nice, and a convection microwave to act as both an oven and as a fast way to prepare foods when necessary. My fifth criteria is power systems. I like having a generator as camping in hot environments requires AC for extended periods of time and lithium systems seem to drain quickly when running AC units. So by the way, AC is a must. I am warming up to lithium systems, especially as recently they are getting more powerful better alternators, and have more solar panels. So let's get started with my top 10 Adventure B-Class vans. Number 10, Storyteller Overland Classic Mode. The Storyteller Overland Classic Mode is a very ingenuitive off-road capable RV and is another favorite amongst off-road adventure seekers. The engineering and design that went into the creation of the Groove Lounge and the Halo hidden shower systems is amazing. The Groove Lounge is the perfect work area with the Lagoon style table, but can also be converted into additional seating, a forward and rear facing lounge chaise, and even a twin bed. The hidden safe under the Groove Lounge is a nice bonus as well. 
The Halo Hidden Shower is another great design and disappears into an overhead cabinet when not needed, giving the RV a very open feeling inside. The rear garage area is spacious, has a tie-down system and cargo lights. The bed is a great size as well, easy to assemble, and the shower pan doubles as a step and makes getting in and out of the bed so much easier. The 12 kilowatt solar system and 3200 watts inverter are capable of providing plenty of power, although the standard 90 watts solar panel in the classic mode is very small. The 21 gallon fresh water tank is average for this class and it does come standard with AC, a one burner portable cooktop, a good size refrigerator, a microwave and there is even a small portable Bluetooth radio. The standard rims and aggressive tires look great and the extensive roof rack system is an excellent bonus for carrying extra equipment. Now some people will not like having to assemble and disassemble the bed. I myself am not a fan of the Porto potty and it does not have a TV. Storyteller did add some great Mercedes upgrades including the power and heated lumbar seats, safety features, and LED headlights. Overall, the RV feels bigger than it is inside simply because of the creative engineering of the flex space that went into the layout design. In summary, this RV did not meet my layout or bathroom criteria, but seems well-built and a very capable off-road adventure RV. Number 9. Pleasure Way Recon the Pleasure Way Recon is another favorite off-road RV by many adventure seekers and is a true four-season coach. It has an open layout with a large garage space with the L-Track tie-down system for carrying equipment. It utilizes a two-sided manual fold-down Murphy-style bed, which is quite large. The bed also serves as a workstation when the cushion is removed. It has a Truma chest-style portable refrigerator freezer a one burner portable induction cooktop, a removable exchangeable propane tank, a huge 40 gallon fresh water tank built into the rear floor, and two five gallon portable gray water tanks. The power is supplied by an impressive 400 amp hours lithium batteries, a 2000 watt inverter, and 400 watts of solar. For storage space, the Recon uses flexible cargo netting instead of cabinets, which is not my favorite system, but others may like it. The Recon uses the Truma AquaGo instant hot water system and the bathroom gear locker contains a 5 gallon cassette toilet. It also comes with some pretty aggressive black Rhino wheel tire combo and an undermount spare tire. The cab area is also very flexible with a driver's side fold down workstation and a lagoon style table. However, the kitchen area seems somewhat scattered within the coach. AC is not standard, nor does it have a microwave or TV, but those things probably do not matter much to the potential buyer of this RV. In summary, this RV did not meet my layout or kitchen criteria, but did have the largest freshwater tank capacity and is a very capable off-road adventure RV. Number 8, Thor Tranquility 19L. The Thor Tranquility 19L is Thor's first attempt into the off-road B-Class RV realm and not only did they do a good job, but they also made it relatively affordable. The standard options now include a 3000 watts inverter, a 400 amp hours lithium system, 190 watts of solar, a 24 gallon fresh water tank, and a 25 pound propane tank. The Truma Combo heating and hot water system works great and heats the 2.6 gallon hot water tank quickly, but unfortunately the wet bath is rather small. The 19L layout feels a bit tight. The solid platform bed is hard to get on and off of. The refrigerator is in a tight area. The TV is in a rather odd location and the cooktop does not have a cover, which reduces the overall counter space. However, there is a nice working and eating area behind the driver's seat and Thor added some nice extras such as the portable Bluetooth speaker, the roof mounted LED light bar, the roof mounted wine guard and the Thule bike rack. It also should be noted that the 
3,500 pound tow rating is lower than its competitors, and some people have expressed concerns over Thor's quality control. I really liked that Thor chose to option the Mercedes platform with some great features such as the power heated lumbar seats and the driver's assist safety features, but was disappointed that they did not check the box for the LED headlights. In summary, this RV did not meet my layout criteria, but it did have a great lithium power system and is a very capable off-road adventure RV. Number 7. Grec Turismo Ion The Grec Turismo Ion is a rare B-class RV to find, but very impressive. The quality, feel, and the materials of construction are very nice. This RV has my preferred layout with the rear power sofa bed and has an open feel to it. The power system is extremely impressive with 1260 amp hours connected to a 3000 watts inverter and a 200 watt solar panel. The kitchen is well appointed with a two burner induction cooktop, a convection microwave, although it was located among the lower cabinets, a nice sized refrigerator, a large sink, and generous amount of counter space, but with an offset counter extension that is not very useful. The 16 gallon of fresh water capacity is somewhat disappointing as the wet bath was a good size for showering. This RV also has many other standard features such as colorful ambient lighting, wind sensing awning, rain sensing vent fans, power shades, black rhino rims, and the list goes on. However, the list of standard features also increased the price and this RV comes in as the highest priced RV on my list. It also has a low profile body kit which somewhat limits doing any serious off-roading with this RV. In summary, this RV did not meet my freshwater capacity criteria, but it had a really powerful lithium system. Also, many would not consider taking this on a serious off-road adventure as the low profile spoilers may get damaged. Number 6. American Coach Patriot The American Coach Patriot is impressive right from the start with its color matching spoilers and its sliding screen door. Once you're inside, the quality, luxurious feel and attention to details is everywhere. Everything in this RV felt extremely solid and the materials used in its construction are on another level. The quilted leather throughout, the solid wood surfaces, the on-demand hot water system all tell you that you are in a quality RV. The rear sofa bed layout is my preferred layout. The sofa area makes for a great working eating area with its lagoon style table and the area can transform into a large and extremely comfortable bed. I really liked that this RV has an option for a generator but the Freedom lithium system with 600 amp hours is also very impressive. I also love that it has a 28 gallon freshwater tank, a good size wet bath with a real flushable porcelain toilet, and 15 gallons of black water holding capacity. The kitchen comes standard with an induction cooktop, a nice sized refrigerator, a microwave, a good sized sink, and average counter space. However, I was disappointed that the American coach did not select the power heated seats and true off-road enthusiasts will quickly point out that the low profile spoiler and fiberglass running boards could get damaged on some of the rougher off-grid roads. In summary, this RV did not meet my criteria due to the lack of Mercedes power and heated seats and the low profile spoilers could get damaged when going off-road. However, the quality and workmanship of this RV was extremely impressive. Number 5. Winnebago Revel This RV is a favorite for many off-grid campers and for good reason as it is a tried and true adventure vehicle. With the typical interior garage, equipment storage space, focused layout and all the essentials needed for an off-grid experience. The Revel is powered by two 125 amp hours lithium batteries and a 2000 watts inverter and 215 watts of solar. It has a platform bed that lowers and raises with the turn of a key which reveals a large garage space for carrying equipment inside the RV. The Timberline hydronic diesel heating system is great and the 21 gallon freshwater tank is about average for this category. It has a nice wet bath that can also be used as a storage closet and a 5 gallon cassette toilet but it does not have a sink or cabinet. The kitchen comes with a portable one burner induction cooktop, a nice sized refrigerator which can be accessed from outside of the RV, and a pantry but no microwave. To add additional kitchen counter space, Winnebago includes a separate counter extension that needs to be inserted into the side of the counter. The Revel also has a great seating area to work or eat at that can even include the driver's seat, 
a roof rack system, an undermount spare tire, and a 17-inch wheel tire option. AC is not standard, but a 48 volts Coleman is available and Winnebago did not check the box on some needed Mercedes cab features such as the power heated seats, but they did opt for the LED headlights. In summary, this RV did not meet my layout criteria and is missing a few other standard features that I require. However, it does have a great garage area and is a tried and true off-road adventure RV. Number 4, Airstream Interstate 19. Here is another RV that completely caught me by surprise. The quality of materials used, the attention to details, and the overall craftsmanship is probably the best on this list. It has a great screen door with my preferred layout, with a very comfortable couch that can be used as a working and eating area. With a push of a couple of buttons, the couch transforms into a great sleeping area. The two 100 amp hours batteries combined with a 1000 watts inverter and a 250 watt solar panel may seem a bit low at first glance, but this RV also comes standard with a 2.5 kilowatt LPG generator ensuring you have all the power you could want. The kitchen is well appointed with a two burner gas cooktop, a microwave, a nice refrigerator, large sink, slide out pantry, and good counter space although the counter extension is offset and may be awkward to use. The bathroom is equipped with a large flushable toilet, clothesline, and macerator connected to a 9-gallon black water tank. However, the fresh water tank size is a somewhat disappointing 18 gallons as well as the 16-gallon gray water tank. This RV also has a standard list of upgrades that seems almost endless. Items like the power window shades and screens, power step, hidden hitch, rain sensing vent fans, etc. Airstream did opt for some great Mercedes options like the power heated lumbar seats, safety options, and even the LED headlights. However, the low profile spoiler could get damaged on rougher off-grid roads. In summary, this RV meets all of my criteria with the only negative being the borderline freshwater tank size. The off-road limitations created by the low profile spoilers and the higher price prevented a first place finish, but the higher price does buy you a great layout, amazing quality, and superior craftsmanship. Number three, Integra Launch. This new to the market adventure RV is really causing heads to turn, as it appears to be very similar to the Winnebago Revel. However, there are some key differences that have elevated this RV above the Revel on my list. The Launch has a similar drop down bed system over its garage space. The bed itself is similar in size, there's no TV, and it is powered via a slightly lower 210 amp hours lithium batteries, a larger 3500 watts inverter, and 200 watts of solar. The launch has a slightly larger 22 gallon freshwater tank, uses the hydronic heating and hot water system, and the wet bath gear locker is similar in size and function, but does have a different style door that can double as a bedroom door. The launch has a kitchen which is also very similar with a one burner portable induction cooktop, a good sized refrigerator accessible from the outside, and it does not have a microwave. However, the launch does come with some standard additional features like the Coleman 48 volt AC unit, the adjustable bucket style rear seats, the L-Track tie down system in the garage, the well designed pull out kitchen counter extension, a second fold out kitchen counter extension, a bathroom clothesline and upgraded shower head, electric side opening window by the work eating area, an under the hood air compressor, a double roof rack, and upgraded wheel tires. It does have the same style under the chassis spare tire system and a lower 3500 pound towing capacity. Also, Integra has chosen to option the launch with some Mercedes upgrades that the Revel does not have such as the power heated seats and bird's eye camera system. In summary, this RV did not meet my layout criteria, although the overall layout and function would work well for those needing the garage area. Integra added many standard features and upgrades that will surely lure some potential Revel purchasers. Number 2, Thor Sanctuary 19P. Now, at first glance, it may seem a bit weird to have the Sanctuary 19L in 8th place and have the Sanctuary 19P in 2nd place, but the reason for this difference comes down to the layout. The 19P has a more open feel and everything is in a functional location. 
The Sanctuary 19P has my preferred rear sofa bed layout, which acts as an eating and working area, a living room, and a bedroom with its electric fold-down rear sofa bed. The bed is a good size, but not as plush as others on this list. The standard options now include a 3000 watts inverter, a 400 amp hours lithium system, 190 watts of solar, a 19 gallon freshwater tank, and a 25 pound propane tank. The Truma Combo heating and hot water system works great and heats the 2.6 gallon hot water tank quickly. The bathroom is a good size with its double doors that have an expanded mode, which enables the doors to lock in a different position and gives a few more inches when showering. The kitchen comes with a two burner gas cooktop, a good sized refrigerator, a small sink, and a microwave, but the cooktop does not have a cover, which limits the counter space. Thor did add some nice extras, such as the portable Bluetooth speaker, the roof-mounted LED light bar, the roof-mounted wine guard, and the Thule bike rack. However, it should be noted that the 3,500 pounds tow rating is lower than its competitors, and some people have expressed concerns over Thor's quality control. I really liked that Thor chose to option the Mercedes platform with some great features, such as the power-heated lumbar seats and the driver's safety assist features but was disappointed that they did not check the box for the LED headlights. In summary, this RV did meet all of my criteria, but is limited on its fresh water carrying capacity and the overall quality feel and workmanship is lower than others. However, it scored best value when considering price, layout, options, and the off-road capability. Number one, Tiffin Cahaba 19 SC. Coming in at first place on my list is the Tiffin Cahaba. The Cahaba is Tiffin's first ever entry into the B-Class adventure van world, and they did not disappoint. The Tiffin Cahaba grabbed first place not because it is the best in a particular category, but because it balances all my criteria better than any of the other RVs on this list. The layout has a great open feel, with either the side bench or side sofa bed layout, and both layouts allow for some interior garage space. The rear lounge bedroom area is very comfortable but is missing a TV. The quality of the materials used is great. The craftsmanship seems solid, and the van somehow even feels bigger than it really is on the inside. The power is supplied by an impressive 12.1 kilowatts of lithium batteries with a 2200 watts inverter and 300 watts of solar. Tiffin uses the Timberline diesel hydronic heating and hot water system, included a great 28 gallon fresh water tank, a 27 gallon gray black combo tank, a full size toilet, a good sized bathroom, and I absolutely love the no shower curtain bathroom design. However, there is no vent or sink inside the bathroom. The kitchen is simply beautiful and comes with a one burner portable induction cooktop hidden under the beautiful solid surface countertop, a microwave, a refrigerator that is somewhat smaller than others, and a large sink, but there is no counter extension, so counter space is limited. Tiffin included a lot of great features such as the built-in work area behind the driver's seat, complete with a cup holder, wind sensing awning, 17 inch wheels, heavy duty metal running board, bike rack, rear mounted tire, and a roof rack. They also have available a rear mounted Molly gear rack and all the exterior LED lights one could wish for. Of course, Tiffin also optioned the Mercedes with all the great options needed for a comfortable and safe journey. In summary, the Tiffin Cahaba did meet all of my criteria and balanced the off-road capability and interior comfort and quality better than any other adventure RV on this list. It could improve by adding a bathroom sink and TV, as well as increasing the kitchen counter size, but overall, for me, this is the best adventure RV. Now you can use all the information in this video to determine your own criteria as well as compare all the features available on these B-Class Adventure RVs. Having all this information readily available in one place can help you determine which ones offer you your preferred options and help you narrow down which one is right for you based on your own criteria, your needs and your preferences. 
I would love to hear your thoughts on what criteria is important to you and which RV fits your criteria the best. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and be sure to join me for upcoming videos. Bye for now.